the YouTube, it's a crush of right and prophecy. And I'm back at it with another vlog video. Um so obviously, you know, um congratulations to the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh I said that they was gonna win and I was right. Um, you know. Obviously, you know, Giannis went down by the third quarter. Um but that didn't stop them from, you know, uh, achieving what they wanted to achieve, achieve, and that was to beat the, you know, Heat and avoid, you know, a sweep. You know, I said that in my, uh, I said that in my other video earlier, that you know the Bucks was gonna only win, and uh, I was right. Um, you know the the the. He didn't take advantage, um, you know, like they were supposed to. You know, I thought when Giannis went down, you know, um, I thought, you know, um, the Bucks was going to, not the Bucks, but the Heat was going to say, okay, now we're going to, you know, put this game on cruise control, you know. But they didn't, you know, they let it slip. Um, and now, now this is where it, it I'm not going to say that, the 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 Bucks are gonna be on the roll, but games like this, it's hard to put away teams. You know, it's always the last game to put. It's always the it's always the last game to put away teams. You know, so um, we don't know the I don't know the condition. We don't know the condition of Giannis. Um, and I think that's the same ankle he re injured. Um, in in, in game. Three, I believe, or game two, I believe. So, uh, if you he, if he's not available for next game, um, I guess you know Middleton and the crews are just gonna have to go out there and play, you know, like they have nothing to lose, you know. Um, and that, and that's how exactly what they played today, you know. Um, that he had all the momentum, you know. what I'm saying um, that he had nothing to lose. They was playing with house money. And, you know, they took the Bucks lightly, you know. They thought, oh, Giannis is out. Okay, yeah, now we're definitely going to win. Okay, you know. So that's going to put more pressure on Miami Heat to close them out. Not to close, but to win the next game. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to be harder now because now you gave this Bucks team momentum. And that's something you don't want to do ever. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to give... A team momentum going into the next, you know, game. You know, um, because I remember when the Cowboys swept my Giants. Uh, I think it was back in '08. No, this is uh, this was back in '07, where they swept them in the regular season, giving all the momentum to them, and when it came to the playoffs, the Giants had the last half. So, um, I'm not saying that, you know, it's going to happen. You know, Giannis would have to fight back through this injury. Um, but I believe that the Bucks will probably win the next game as well. Um, I believe that, you know, out of just one game, it, it, that's how it starts. You know, a lot of people may not, you know, want to... Um, believe it, but I'm pretty sure that the Bucks are going to win this series. Um, like I said again, the, the the Heat had no business going into this series. They had no business winning going into the NBA, uh, going into this finals, not this finals, but this playoffs. You know, like I would rather see the Suns than the Heat, but obviously. It is what it is. So now it's going to be hard for the Heat to close out because of what happened. Or, of, I mean, it's going to take the Heat a lot of effort to close this game out because the, the Bucks are not going to lay down like that. You know what I'm saying? So congratulations to the Bucks winning without Giannis. And let me tell you this. Did you see how the Bucks played? So fluently moving the ball around, 
the ball is not necessarily stuck on one person. Just saying. Because when Giannis was on the floor, everybody was keyed on Giannis. And it kind of hurts. It, it, it kind of hurts the team, um, you know, chemistry. Not chemistry, but it hurts them because the ball is not moving around. Everybody has to touch the ball. As great as Giannis is, he has to rely on his teammates. And then, and then obviously, he has to knock them. They have to knock those shots down, which they were doing. You know what I'm saying? But there was a lot of times where they just keyed on Giannis, double-teaming Giannis all the time. And then that forced Giannis to make either a bad pass or a bad shot that led to a turnover. Um, but, you know, as soon as Giannis got out the game, you know, um, you know the Bucks didn't pout. They didn't, you know, put their heads down. You know what I'm saying? Like, they continued to fight, you know. Um, and, you know, they got the best out of uh, the heat now it's now it's the heat's turn to to the return to favor now if they lose this game if they lose the next game this game is going to be even more interesting because Giannis, I don't I don't I don't believe Giannis is going to be out for the playoffs I think he's just going to be out for this game you know, get the soreness down, you know what I'm saying, apply some, you know, ointment on it, you know what I'm saying, he should, like, let, let it heal to the next game, and then I believe he should be fine. Um, but, you know, if he's out indefinitely, then I still think this Bucks team can, can at least win one more game, and then obviously, you know, the, the Heat, is going to wrap it up in, 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 in five. So, that's just my opinion. Um, so, but comment on what you think. Uh, did, the, did, the, did the heat choke away? Or did the heat choke away this lead? Or this, this game? Or, you know, did, you know, the, did the heat, I mean, did the Bucks want it more? You know, um, tell me what you think. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other.